HCAM News Director Tom Nappy here, and today we are speaking with Judith Weinthaler from the Hopkinton Women's Club. Uh, Judith, how are you today? I'm fine. How are you doing, Tom? I'm doing very well. Uh, so I have to congratulate you and the rest of the Hopkinton Women's Club. You're celebrating your 100-year anniversary. What a landmark that is. Uh, why don't we start off, for those that don't know, why don't you tell us a little bit about what the Hopkinton Women's Club does? Yeah, we've been around for a hundred years now, and believe it or not, there are still people in town that have lived here a long time that don't know much about our work. Um, let me just, re so to give an overview, Tom, just let me just read you what our mission is. It's to improve our community through volunteer service, including philanthropic, educational, cultural, and social events for members and the community. So we're basically a service uh, organization. And yes, it's a very special year. And we've been doing some fun and wonderful things. Um, hopefully a banner is going up on some place on Main Street very soon. There's been a little delay um, with poles or something. I don't know with all the construction going on. But it's the banners coming. And we had great fun uh, doing a time capsule putting in things that history of minutes of the club, but also some current things, the pictures, the price of food today, um, a whole range of things to show what life is like now in um, after a hundred years of the founding. And that will be open in uh, 50, 50 years. So yeah, the a um, hundred years ago, you take us back. It's also a special year because of the 19th amendment. And that was the time that a lot of women's clubs across the country and in around Massachusetts and in Hopkinton were forming. Um, what we, uh, we meet monthly and have a business meeting program and then, and a program, um, some social events, but it's all a little different now because of we're Zooming. Um, but I wanted to share with you an amazing program that we just had this past Monday at our meeting when someone from the Historical Society talked about uh, one of our founders. And I have to read her name. It is Eliza Wadsworth Mc McMechan Bridges. And she used all those names because she was adopted by some relatives, etc. cetera. And um, she never married, but she was an amazingly strong, dedicated woman. And we like to feel like that's part of our heritage and tradition because we're a club of very dedicated women. So she ended up going to Smith College, was a teacher like a lot of women at that time, wasn't quite fulfilling enough for her. So she decided she wanted to go to law school and be a lawyer. She went to BU Law School and she was admitted to the bar in 1900. She was the seventh woman, as much as the, our historian could determine, the seventh woman in the state to actually pass the bar. And we, we, they showed us her acceptance letter, and it said, Dear Sir. They hadn't, <laughs> even, <laughs> they hadn't acknowledged that women were doing that. Well, then she had offices in Hopkinton and um, Framingham. And uh, she, was, she became the over, very dedicated to Hopkinton. She became the overseer of the poor farm at that time. She was a prime mover in raising funds for the library and was obviously involved in the suffrage movement. And in 1950, 15-ish, was appointed the Hopkinton Town Council. So a woman in 1950 as our town council. I think that's pretty amazing. And so, I mean, that just kind of speaks to a lot of the amazing things that we do in the, in the club. That's incredible. And um, I, I guess you could say uh, she was one of the first women to really get things in motion. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And we've been continuing uh, ever since. And as I said, we hope to get back to our usual routine of having monthly meetings with a social time because that's really important. And actually, our membership has grown a lot in the past, uh, I'd say, three, four months. And I'm thinking that a lot of people, women, 
um, are feeling more isolated in these times. And I think that our sense of people's sense of community and connectedness is um, really coming to the fore. And um, they're finding a home in the, in the women's club. And of course we always welcome new members. Um, and of course, if you want to get in touch and become a member, uh, there's a couple of ways that you can get in touch uh, with the Hopkinton Women's Club. You go to the website at hopkintonwomensclub.org or email uh, hopwcmembership at gmail.com uh, for membership. And when they go to the website, there's a couple of links. It's, one is called what's we, what, what's we Do, What We Do, and then there's another, word, another one to join. So that tells you about that. And then the other thing that you can, when you go to What We Do, let me just let me get center this. We have these uh, purple, there we go, purple flyers. And there's one of these um, online and that will tell you our meeting schedule, uh, what the programs are. We have upcoming programs in, uh, it's kind of a health focus this year, physical therapy, um, nutrition, and, but we've had past programs in money matters and internet scams and hop trails, a lot of interesting stuff. Absolutely. And I know uh, one of the programs you do, you have a scholarship program. Uh, as our mission says, our focus on scholarship, which actually was goes back to the founder. Um, it's been going on for a hundred years. We, uh, the purpose of doing fundraising is for our two main funds, our scholarship fund. And this past spring, we awarded 11 scholarships to high school seniors and also a very special award for outstanding community service to a to a senior. Um, we also raise money for a family support fund, which provides assistance for families in Hopkinton uh, experiencing emergencies and um, challenging situations. And there are more and more that, uh, and, and I think our community is changing. And uh, so we just want to be supportive. Absolutely. And a couple of uh, great programs you got coming up. We'll throw them up on the screen here. Uh, this is a program you have coming up. Uh, Build a Wood Tray with us on uh, November 1st from right. 2 to 5 in Milford. Uh, tell us a little bit about this program. Well, the uh, Canvas and Cup, um, the uh, Masha is a member and she's generously donating uh, some of the proceeds to our family support fund that I just talked about. And it'll be a fun gathering um, at her uh, establishment there. And I don't know if people can see, but if they, this flyer is on the, uh, the website and you actually register to uh, at canvas and cup dot, see, is it canvas and cup dot? Do you have the, uh, let oh, me there it is. Right. Uh canvasandcup.com. Dot com. Thank you. All yeah, right. it's a small group of women. And I know some women have expressed it is indoors because of all the painting. But she has uh, assured us it's a very, very large space. People will wear masks um, spread out. So I think it will be a, a fun time. And it's coming up soon. And there's still some slots available. So uh, follow the links there at Canvas and Cup. Um, and you don't have to have any experience. I'm not artistic at all, but you know, it's when it, you, she will guide us through um, making a, a beautiful product. That is tremendous. And then you have uh, some nice signs for sale as yeah. well. Yeah, these have gone over very, very well there. You can't really tell from there, but there, most people seem to be hanging them outside. And the one that says, or the two that say, um, home, you can see there's a, a decoration in the one uh, that has the different, it's seasonal. Now, these signs were done on special order, when that, that, but we still have some left over now. So if you go to the Hopkinton uh, website and get our email, just email and say, oh, I would still like one, can't order, but what do you have left? Um, and then the direct yep. link is hopkintonwomensclub.org slash signs for sale. Yes. And thank you. And, but uh, November 1st, stay tuned because we're going to be doing some, a new line of signs for the, the holidays. And uh, 
they look great. So you will be able to order those. Um, well, that is uh, terrific. Any, any, uh, thing else anybody should know? Well, yeah, other, in addition to the scholarships and the, um, the having the family support fund, we also support lots of local, uh, nonprofits, uh, the senior center, the respite center, et cetera. And then members are very generous and we've had fun helping project uh, just because put together birthday bags. I mean, it's ah. so wonderful. A lot of the families that PJB can provide clothes and some of the gifts, but every kid should have some decorations and uh, cake and candles. So we do lots of things, uh, like that um, absolutely well judith yeah. uh, we are out of time but i want to oh, uh, thank you thank you and the hopkinton women's club for all the great things you do around the community and once again congratulations on your 100 year anniversary thank you and uh thank hcam for being an amazingly supportive part of our outreach <laughs>